Hello everyone, and today I'm going to do another tutorial for you, um, and I'm going to take a break from the kind of exciting basis stuff and give you something a bit more chill, like a lead, um, which, by the way, is going to sound like this. Um, which sounds cool, I suppose. And then this. Um, and that's just a new track I'm doing. such and such. Um, so yeah, uh, there's not really any processing on it, I mean, mine stuff, so it's really just a massive tutorial um, on this, and it's the most fun patch to play around on. I mean, I'm not really having much fun on that because it's too laggy, um, because of the screen recording. But anyway, um, here it is, it's got lots of glide. Um, and lots of legato triller. So you can even do chip tune if you're feeling a bit boss wave. Okay. So um, so let's just go through this, and then it'll be nice and short. Let's hope. So oscillator one. Stick your pitch up to twelve. Uh, square saw one. So default, which is quite nice. Um, Wave tab position all the way up. Intensity all the way up. Amp all the way up. Uh, oscillator two is another square saw, uh, but bring the wave position down to like there somewhere. Intensity again, all the way up, amp again, all the way up. You don't need any more oscillators, nice and simple. Um, then go to the noise, make sure that's turned on. Go to bright noise, all the way up on the colour to make it nice and bright, as the name would suggest. And then put the amp to kind of two thirds up. So 10 o'clock somewhere. A touch of feedback, but to be honest, it doesn't make any difference, so don't worry. Uh, and then. This is really nice and simple, actually. Uh, classic tube on FX1. Uh, dry wet up at 2 o'clock, dry up at 2 o'clock. No FX2, not even a dimension expander for some reason. Um, EQ, put a bit on the high shelf, and that's it, really. Then voicing. Make sure you're on mono rotate and legato triller. Just keep it to one voice, because two, I don't want to sound like. Okay, it sounds shocking, so don't do that. Um, and that's all you need there. OSC, make sure you've got your restart via gate turned on, if not. It sounds okay, but not quite as good. Um, glide, uh, this is great fun. You can have it like where I have it, so like 11 o'clock. Or you can... Uh, or you can put like... So as long as you're pro with your key pressing, you can really make chip tune. But I'm gonna have it like there, so it's so it's still kind of sane. Um, and then we've got some kind of minor modulation. Um, there's oh yeah, that's yeah. Get to that. Uh, but first, put a, you've got a pitch thing to make kind of get an attack to the sound. Um, so I've got envelope two for this. You could use any of them, apart from four. Um, stick that on the pitch of your first two, the ones you're using, and stick it up to thirty six. Uh, Quick tip, if you hold ALT when you're dragging up, you can pull it up in octaves, um, in case you didn't know that. But yeah, uh, make sure they're all the same, because otherwise you get weird phasing and such. And then once you're back into the envelope thing, attack, you can put almost all the way down. Decay, okay, level, actually, put that to like 10, 11, because um, this basically determines how much of that 36 is going up to before it drops it down. So if I demonstrate with a... it right up you can hear a real really sharp kind of pitch thing and that's a good thing to the leads actually have a bit of an attack but I only keep it about there and then on the decay front this is how quickly it drops down from your thing so here it will be so you can mess with them That level is of course the way down, otherwise you get. So that's pretty obvious, uh, and that's that's your pitch. Other thing I did was on the glide. So this is envelope one, and it's been put onto the depth. So first, get your envelope one, get the crosshair, stick it on the depth, 
and drag that up to 10, 11 o'clock sort of there. And then rate is really up to you, but our mine is just like that. I mean, it's okay. So I think like there's pretty good. And then back into envelope one, you'll see looks like the envelope's completely disappeared. It hasn't, it's just because I've got a macro on it. And all that macro is doing is when I do a It's just a kind of way to turn your vibrato on and off or to fine tune the amount you want. So when you when it's all the way up, you, basically what it will really look like is that. But and when you turn it, the macro all the way down, it will really look like that. So you see what's happening there. Um, but your attack is quite high because if you're doing like fast paced leads, um, often you want the attack of the note to be perfectly in key, um, especially if you've got this pitch kind of pitch envelope on it as well. And if it's not, you it just sounds out of tune. And fast notes, I don't know if I've actually got any hits of a look. Um, I mean, there's a few like quick trip ones. But if the vibrato comes immediately, it might start like slightly above where it should be and it'll sound a bit weird. So just make sure you've got some kind of attack to it. So mine's just below halfway. Uh, level, okay, put it all the way down and level again, put it all the way down for the other one, decay, decay leave it middle. And then with your macro, uh, then drag both the level on both of those, um, attack and decay, all the way up. So this means you can control how much how much that's basically going up at the end of the envelope. You could probably take it further if I was really... I'm no doubt there's a way to sign it to the mod wheel, I think it must be. Key track velocity... I don't know, um, <laughs> but I'm sure there's a way of doing it. Um, and that's actually it, I'm pretty sure. So, um, yeah, it's a massive patch. I think I will take you through some stuff I've done um, in the project. But there's only a couple of things I really want to mention is to make best use of the glide. Um, the cool thing to do is to um, put notes. They just don't. The notes have to overlap for the glide to happen. I mean, it's, that's obvious. Um, so, otherwise they're always hit perfectly in key. But if you have like certain notes, like these ones. Um, if you overlap the notes slightly, um, you get and really quickly they glide up to the notes. So like, wow, um, and I've done that in a few places. Um, again, I've got another overlap there. I've got a small overlap there. And yeah, and also the effects I put on this. I've just noticed I put some reverb on it. Uh, what's it? Yeah, I mean, you kind of need the reverb. So that's, you, you, this is free, by the way, so there's no excuse for not having it. But everything is 48.1 pre-delay, space is 44.0, time is somewhere just above 2,000 milliseconds. Um, width, I think I've turned it up from 75, I think 75 is the default. And then damp high is all the way up, so you're getting the high-end reverbing, reverberating. Um, and then make sure there's no low low pitch reverb because that just sounds ridiculous and then that sort of thing but that's all and then of course I've got channel EQ with some just standard um, high passing and stuff and gain but that's not because of any volume issues that's just because I've got um, I've got automation on the volume so it's just a pain to yeah okay uh, but that's the tutorial so um, yeah, this track's actually coming out on a new EP. It's called Cycloid. Um, prizes to whoever can guess what that is, or knows what that is. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Um, goodbye.